Hi, library friends. I'm Miss Connie from the Hopewell Branch, and welcome to another episode of our author study program. If you have not been to an author study program before, you should go to our mcl.org website and on our YouTube channel, you can check out our earlier programs. There's a specific playlist for the author study program. We also have many other programs for children on our YouTube channel, and I would encourage you to check those out as well. Today, we're going to learn about author James Preller. Now, James Preller is most well known for his Jigsaw Jones um, series. That's the most recent Jigsaw Jones. There are many Jigsaw Jones books. Uh, he's also written many other books, and we'll take a look at that in a little bit. But I just wanted to start out with a few interesting facts about James Preller. Um, he was born on Long Island in New York. He's the youngest of seven children. And when he was a kid, he wanted to grow up to play baseball for the New York Mets. He, after he went to college, he worked as a waiter for a year, and then he worked for Scholastic Publishing in New York City. And in that job, he wrote blurbs for thousands of children's books. And that ex experience inspired him to write children's books of his own. And I got that information from his website, jamespreller.com. We'll also take a look at that later. And there's a lot more information there about um, him and his work and his family. So we'll take a look at that later. But right now, uh, I want to share with you a video that he has sent specifically for our library. And it's very special, and he's going to read to us from one of his books. So let's take a look. Hi, my name is James Preller. I am a children's book author. That's what I've done my whole life, more than half my life anyway, is I've written children's books. Um, probably best known for my Jigsaw Jones mystery series. So if you like mysteries, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this little short presentation about some of my Jigsaw Jones books. Uh, these are a few. Sorry about the sunlight there. Jigsaw Jones and Mila solve mysteries, okay? I love it. This is one of my most recent, The Case from Outer Space. So I'd like to read to you a little bit about that. Uh, first of all, I'd also like to thank um, two librarians there, Mr. Noose, I think it's pronounced Noose, and Ms. Raskin, who invited me here uh, to talk about Jigsaw Jones, and uh, let's just do that. Uh, I've written a bunch of other books. They can, they can talk to you about those, but uh, I am proud of them too. I don't just do Jigsaw. But um, people ask me, you know, when I visit schools, you know, I do school visits, and they'll say, Mr. Preller, uh, were you a detective? when you were a kid. And uh, I would say, you know, I really, I wasn't a detective, but I was, I was a spy. I, I'm the youngest of seven children, right? I was the baby in the family. And I would spy on my brothers and sisters and very sneaky, do all that. And I had this one special toy I loved so much, and it was a telescope that extended and I could see around corners. It had mirrors built into it, so I would spy on my brothers and sisters and sneak around. So I'm a very sneaky, rotten kid, you know, that was me. And uh, I love that toy so much, I gave it to Jigsaw Jones. And he used it to help him solve a mystery. Let me see if I can hold that up. The Case of the Bicycle Bandit. Someone has stolen Ralphie Jordan's bicycle. Jigsaw has found various clues. He's looked them up, and he now has a suspect. And he sees them. There's a special meeting inside a garage. So Jigsaw spies. There's a stakeout, right? So he's watched. He's hid, and he's watched. And then he's like, I got to get closer so I can hear. And he gets closer to the garage, and he hears these two guys talking, and then they leave. And that's when Jigsaw thinks... Now is my chance. 
I've got to get inside that garage. This is from the case of the Bicycle Bandit, Jigsaw Jones, and the Chapter 10, Trapped. I lay still for a few more minutes. Maybe I was waiting for the coast to clear. Maybe I was just playing it safe. Or maybe I was just playing scared. The garage was empty. But the door was still open. I knew what I had to do. I took a deep breath and entered the garage. It was cluttered with tools and bicycles. There was a pile of old tires, spray paint cans, old bicycle parts strewn on the floor. It was more like a workshop than a garage. There wasn't even room for a car. I crept up to the door that led into the house. I pressed my ear against it. I heard muffled sounds, the shuffling of feet, a chair <clears throat> scraping on the floor, the clink of a spoon against a dish. The kitchen, I decided, Snorky Smithers was in there, eating a snack. I turned my gaze to the bicycles. I noticed one that looked familiar. Could it be? It might have been Ralphie's bike. But this bike wasn't rusty anymore. It had a new seat, new handlebars, new pedals. The spokes seemed shiny and new. The frame was a shiny, sparkling blue. I sniffed it. Wet paint. Hmm. I was just about to get out of there when I heard a faint clomp, clomp. The sound of footsteps coming closer just on the other side of the door. I froze in place and watched the doorknob slowly, slowly turn. The snorkster! He was coming into the garage! I dove into the darkest corner and ducked down behind a few boxes. I heard the door open. Snarky entered the garage. Huh! What's this? He wondered out loud. My heart beat faster. Thumpa, thumpa, thumpa. I peeked around the box. Snarky! was holding something, turning it over in his hands. It was my Super Spy Scope X2000. I'd left it on the ground beside old Rusty. Snarky was suspicious. He looked around the garage. Hello? He called out. Anybody here? He took a step toward me, then another. Now my heart was a bass drum. Boom, boom, boom. I closed my eyes and bring, bring the phone. Answer it, I prayed. Go on, Snarky, answer the phone. Snarky paused. He looked toward the kitchen door. The phone rang again. He took another step toward me, muttered, then tossed the X2000 onto a shelf. He went inside. To answer the phone. I didn't stick around to see what happened next. I jumped up, whoops, crash, and knocked over a bicycle. Who's that? Snarky called from in the kitchen. I grabbed the X2000 and never looked back. I ran and ran and So that's the end of that chapter. I won't tell you what happens next. That's Jigsaw Jones. If you like mysteries, if you like action and solving riddles, check out Jigsaw Jones, my mystery series. Thank you so much. My newest book is called All Welcome Here. It's all haiku, illustrated by Mary Grand Pre, who did the artwork for all the Harry Potter books. I'm super proud of this book. It's beautiful and amazing. Thank you so much, and I uh, hope this video works for you. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video by James Preller as much as I did. I really love it when an author reads their own story. So now we're gonna talk about some of the other books he's written. Um, I want you to be able to see what they look like and maybe um, get you interested in taking them out. Uh, now, this one is not in our catalog yet. He mentioned this book. Um, 
all welcome here. It's written in haiku. So if you don't know hi what haiku is, it's short poems. And they consist of three phrases in a pattern of a 575 syllable count. When you're in school, you will learn how to write haiku poems. But this is a very nice book. We just purchased this, so it is not in the catalog yet, but keep your eye out for it because we are getting this book. Um, and as he mentioned, uh, the illustrator is the same as from the Harry Potter series. So I'm looking forward to seeing that book when it comes in. Um, now, the Jigsaw Jones books, there are 33 of them. Uh, this is, I believe, the first one, the case of Hermie the Missing Hamster. And I just want you to get a feel for what these books are like. They're nice, short books, but they're chapter books. If you're just getting into reading chapter books, um, this is an example of one of the pages. There's a good, good bit of writing, and there are still illustrations in there. Okay, so it looks something like that. So a very nice beginner chapter book. This is the new one, the newest one of the series, uh, The Case from Outer Space. And again, the, the illustrations are a little bit different, but it's um, a nice amount of words uh, to the pictures. So I would highly recommend that series to you. Uh, beyond the 33 Jigsaw Jones, there's also the super special series Jigsaw Jones. And there are four of those. And I would say these are mostly for maybe first and second graders, maybe third graders as well. Um, th this is the big idea gang. There are three of these. Um, and these kids are third graders, so I would say that's about the right age for this book. I'm just going to read you the summary. Third graders, Dion, Kim, Lizzie, and Connor, armed with Miss Zip's persuasive tips, set out to convince the PTA to use their cash surplus to put a buddy bench on the playground. That's a very nice book. I read that. Um, so there are three of those in the Big Idea Gang series. Now he's also written a lot of picture books. Um, we have Cardinal and Sunflower. That's an older book. Uh, we have Mighty Casey. You might guess that he would write a baseball book since he's such a big baseball fan. And in this one, the Del Mar Dogs baseball team is terrible, especially Casey Jenkins. But with a little bit of faith in themselves, they finally managed to win a game. So that's a picture book. He's got some Pirate Guide picture books. So this is a Pirate's Guide to First Grade. And a Pirate's Guide. Well, this one is to recess. That one's to recess. And this one is the Pirate's Guide to First Grade. And I think the fun thing about these books is that in the back, there is pirate vocabulary. Who does not want pirate vocabulary? I really think that's fun. And I always have a story time every year where we have a pirate theme. And I like to know pirate vocabulary. Erg. So that's a nice one if you like that as well. They've also... Um, James Perler also wrote a nonfiction book for um, the Kratz, and it's in search of the real Tasmanian devil. I'm going to read the summary to you. Martin and Chris Kratz search for the elusive Tasmanian devil. It includes a description of the animal, the habits and behavior, and an overview of other animals in the area. That's really an interesting book. Um, and he also has books for older children. So if you become a James Preller fan, when you get older, you can read some books in middle school too. So he has a Scary Tales series. That's really for middle school kids, uh, maybe grades four to eight. Um, there's the Courage Test, 
Again, that's a, a pretty new chapter book for him. These are bigger books, uh, less pictures, more words. Um, and this is also for grades four to eight. And then we have Bystander, which is really a middle school book. And that is about bullying. When you're a little older, if you have older siblings, they might be interested in that. And that's just an overview of some of his books. He has more books than that. Um, I hope I've encouraged you to check some of his books out of the library. I just wanted to take a quick look at James Preller's website. It's jamespreller.com, and he has a blog here. This is where I got his bio information. So you could check out more information. There's a lot more detailed information there, including pictures from when he was a kid. I love pictures. Um, there is more information about his books, about um, contact and Zoom visits. There's Jigsaw Jones. Um, he, You can work with him on your college essay, love your college essay. There are questions and answers if you have questions for him. Uh, your your question might be in there. And there are random photos, so you can see more pictures of him and his family. And I always think that's fun to know more about the author. So I would definitely recommend that you come here and check out his website with your grown-up. Help them help you find it. So we'd like to say a big thank you to James Preller for providing us with that special video and reading to us from his Jigsaw Jones book. Again, remember you can learn more about James Preller at his website, www.jamespreller.com. And you can see more author study videos and other children's programming on our website at mcl.org. And thanks for joining us today, and we hope to see you at another author study program. Bye.